I was observing 3, 5 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6, 3. It seems that some of these numbers, the 3 for example, is median between the next number. We are going to look at the median. We propose it as the sum of this one plus the one. I don't know if the previous one or two times the previous one plus one. Five plus one, six, divided by two, three. And this, does this happen this time? Eight plus two equals ten, yes? Since it is a relative reference in Excel, we can copy the expression into the next position and in effect we can check that this number is also the sum of the next term in the series and two previous positions. Will this be the case for all of them? No, it is not. Why? Not the previous, but the... Here it is not complete. Okay, so we complete it downward. Of course, there comes a moment when, ah yes, it is the case, yes. The thing is that the latter has to do with the following, and there is no way that that is like this. Well, what an interesting property. Each term of the sequence is the median between the next term and the term that I two positions in front. Very interesting. Well, if we turn this argument around, then we are thinking, of course, there is another way of calculating each of the terms. Each of the terms is double. Here we can calculate it as double. 2 divided by the previous term minus the one that is 3 positions in front, of course. Minus this one here. So this is true, if this is calculated correctly. And this rule, we bring it forward. Well, well, how interesting. Very interesting. This sequence of numbers. There is another curiosity. This sequence ultimately has been studied since antiquity by distinguished figures, and they realize that with the sole exception of this term, the one that is in position 4, which is the number 3, they realized that the one that were in the position of a prime number were prime numbers themselves. That is, 5 is a prime number and 5 is the position and 5 is the term. Then we go to 7. 7 is a prime number. It turns out that in position 7 we have the number 13 which is a Fibonacci number which in turn is a prime number. 8, 9 and 10 are not prime numbers, 11 is. In 11, yes, and right in position 11 is 80, 9, which is a prime number. How interesting. Later, in position 12, which is a prime number 2, we have 233, which is a prime number. It is very interesting. This also happened with 17, whose position is occupied by 1,597, which we have not checked. But if we listen to what these scholars tells us, we can conclude that it is also a prime number because this property is shared by all numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, with the sole exception of position 4, which is a non-prime position and is occupied by a prime number, the number 3. All of the others is prime number and a prime number position in the Fibonacci sequence. How interesting. We were here expanding this series of numbers downward, and we saw that we could expand it a lot. But Excel has some limitations and using Excel as a container of numbers which, in this specific case, is an infinite succession, in the end we are going to reach certain limits. We see for example that we are already approaching the limits of what we would call general annotation of the number format where there reaches a point where it has so many figures that Excel only works with a set of significant digits. So it turns into scientific annotation, which is one number comma something times 10 raised by 11 or any number. That is, with all these figures, all those zeros to the right or running the comma so many positions. 
If we turn this into number format without decimal places, we see that here we have annotated the number with all of its figures on show. We see that in these final positions a curious thing happen, they start to end in zero. But logically these are no longer terms of the Fibonacci sequence. What happens is that Excel is not so precise as to be able to handle them. Why? Because if we have the starting figures here, we will see that we have reached the quantity of 15, which is the limit with which Excel works. If we needed to work with these numbers, beyond these positions, with more than 15 significant figures, Excel is no longer our tool or we should use some kind of trick in order to overcome this limitation of Excel, which is also possible. Since we have reached these positions, we can see something strange, which is that as of position 60, the following positions, I go to 61, we see that if here I copy the first terms of the sequence, we see that from position 61, 62 onward it is repeated. Every 60 digits the last figure is repeated. We see here the last series is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and here, from 61, we see that they end in 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 3, 1, etc. It is a curious property that has been discovered, that it fulfills, and there are other related properties such as that from 300 numbers the last two positions are repeated, and this property can even be generalized successively. When we generalize there are many people who have tried to reach the limits or what things this sequence can tell us. And they have seen for example, they have thought to expand it into negative positions. That is, that if we build the previous terms following the same rules, each term will be equal to that of two positions behind minus the position immediately behind. This is the inverse, just as we defined the sequence seen its day. We can calculate the terms of the sequence seen negative positions, which we see have a very curious behavior, since they alternate negative and positive positions in order to conserve the essential property of this sequence. We make the most of this, and to finish, we can try to graphically represent this interesting sequence to see its behavior. So we already know how to do charts. We insert a very simple line graph and we see the general behavior of this interesting sequence. 